Hello everybody, I'm GHG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to create a player beheading clause inside our cool stuff plugin. And to do so you need to create a new listener of course, player beheading and then just create it and it's not actually player beheading but it's like a player drops his head when he dies. So we're gonna do event handler public void on player death. So player death event e just like that. I do not know why it's doing that. And inside of here, of course, we want to uh, create a new item stack. Uh, item stack because we want to have the skull equals a uh, new item stack. And then we do material dot skill item and we do one and of course you know that you can still attach a data to it by doing this and why do i set by three because i want a player head and if i leave it like on zero it will return a skeleton head uh, i'm not sure about that but it will return another kind of skill and uh, not a player head so and next thing we want to do because with item meta you cannot really set the owner of the skill <laughs> like the the one whose head it's supposed to be uh, so we're gonna do skill meta i uh, just call it meta equals and then cast it to skill meta because uh skill dot get meta get item meta will return a um item meta of course we want skill meta and now just do meta dot z owner set owner and for the string you of course want to do e dot get player uh, e dot get uh, entity because it's a player dot get name for the name of the player because you cannot fill in the player and uh, last thing is skull dot set item meta meta and now we have created our skull but we still need to uh, have a drop inside of the world so i'm gonna do e dot get entity dot get world to get the world dot um drop item and the location is of course going to be e dot get entity dot get location because we drop it on the player's location and then the item stack is going to be skull and that's how easy it is to drop player skulls inside of the world when they die of course you can um, also use this for custom skulls if you don't know uh, the, the owner or whatever you can do a uh, custom skins upload but then you will need another trick which i might get into in an other episode i don't think i will you just have to google that but that's it for today's episode let's go check this out on the server so we're inside Minecraft now, start up the server and let's go take a look at what we have created. And to simply, as you can see it is a bit buggy with my skin on my server because I never could get the skins right. And just type in slash kill and you died. And then just, as you can see, uh, my player head, it's not actually my player head because the skin does not work probably on my server i don't know what know why and i do not want to fix it either or i do not have any motivation to fix it because i do not mind so there you go oh, there is my player at now it's all right not in the inventory but never mind that's it for today's episode hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like if you want to see more subscribe if you've got any feedback or suggestions go to the description box area you will find a link to our discord channel or just post a comment do whatever you like Thanks for watching.